Welcome to Batman The Complete Story Series. We're going to begin our tale with the prequel game, Batman Arkham Origins. While this wasn't made by Rocksteady, it does ramp up into the entire tale that is the Batman Arkham series. It also brings us to the beginning of this universe. Our story begins on Christmas, with Batman stopping a jailbreak led by the villain Black Mask. Black Mask is upset that he's been paying the GCPD all of this bribe money, and they're still willing to lock up his goons. So as Black Mask makes his way out of the prison, Batman ends up having to stay behind because he finds himself locked in a battle with Croc. As he pins Croc against a fence, he beats him to get some information, and Croc spills the beans that Black Mask hired assassins to kill Batman. Eight, in fact, and there's a $50 million bounty on his head. Croc was the first, but there are seven more, and they are Deathstroke, Firefly, Copperhead, Deadshot, Electrocutioner, Shiva, and lastly, Bane. Batman puts two and two together, and he decides that he's going to need to find Black Mask to put an end to this entire ordeal and save the citizens of Gotham once again. So he does a little bit of sleuthing, and he realizes that all money goes through Penguin in Gotham. So he goes in to find the Penguin so he can discover Black Mask's location. But once he gets there, he ends up fighting Penguin's goons that trap him, and he finds himself in an arena where he has to face off against the first two assassins. Electrocutioner is first, and he's nothing more than a pushover. But Deathstroke is more of a challenge, as he's a highly trained professional, and not some goon with shocker gloves. Once Batman gets to the Penguin, he learns that Black Mask was murdered in a local apartment building. But upon further investigation, he learns that it wasn't Black Mask that was killed. It was somebody else. But the most interesting fact is that this murder involved a man named the Joker, someone that Batman has never heard of at this time. So Batman breaks into the GCPD so he can use their database, and he ends up battling against the corrupt SWAT team hoping to try and get the bounty for themselves. And then he fights against Black Mask's crew as they try to set explosives. After all is said and done, Batman figures out that Black Mask was most likely kidnapped by this new Joker character. So he chases down the guy wearing the black mask to the local bank and he corners him while he's pulling away in a truck. Then the man in the black mask removes the mask, revealing that it is actually the Joker in disguise. He's kidnapped Black Mask like Batman thought and took control of his entire criminal empire days ago. Batman chases them down to the local steel mill where he frees Black Mask and he defeats the fourth assassin, Copperhead. But he doesn't lose the trail there as he follows the Joker to the Gotham Royal Hotel where he discovers that it's actually being used as Joker's HQ. The Joker has murdered the staff and shut down the hotel by filling it with his goons. But as Batman gets to the top, he overhears the Joker arguing with the remaining assassins that they have failed and they need to kill Batman right now. As they all leave to go looking for him, Bane decides to stick around because he thinks Batman is probably on his way here. The Joker himself makes his way to the roof and Batman would have stopped him Except, Bane was right, and begins to battle Batman on the rooftop. The police arrive, making the whole situation hectic, and Bane ends up getting onto a helicopter and firing a rocket back at Batman, but he hits the Joker, throwing him off of the rooftop. The Joker would have died that day, but he finds himself saved by Batman and left with the police. Joker is sent to Blackgate, where he meets his doctor, Harleen Quinzel, and he informs her, Batman and he were destined to be together. It would seem like Batman was done, but there are still a few assassins running around, so he headed straight out again to look for Bane. Batman quickly discovers where Bane's base is, but another wrinkle in the night presents itself as Batman discovers Bane has learned Batman's true identity as Bruce Wayne. So he leaves Bane's HQ and he runs into Firefly and begins his battle with that assassin. But while this is going on, Bane broke into the Batcave and practically kills Alfred. Once Batman defeats his fifth assassin, he rushes back to the Batcave to find a dying Alfred that he revives with the Electrocutioner's gauntlets. During these events though, the Joker has also gotten free from Blackgate and he's begun taking over the entire prison. As this is the early days of Batman in this universe, the police don't trust him, but he does end up working with Gordon and the police force to take back Blackgate prison. Once he gets there, he finds that the Joker has not only taken control, but he's also devised an evil plan. He himself is sitting in an electric chair, wired to Bane's heartbeat. So Batman has to pick either Bane or the Joker to live. Batman comes up with a plan to stop Bane's heart, and once the Joker gets up from the chair, he uses the gauntlets once again to revive Bane. But Bane is rather pissed about all of this, and he hulks out on an extreme amount of venom, the substance that gives him his insane strength. Batman then battles against Bane one last time, but as a side effect from his drug, he suffers from amnesia, once again hiding Batman's true identity. 
Batman actually gets back on the case by chasing the Joker to the prison chapel, where the Joker is rather upset that Batman didn't actually kill Bane, so he taunts Batman into trying to get him to kill the Joker. But Batman just knocks the Joker out and turns him over to the police. Gordon finally realizes that Batman isn't a villain, and he lets him walk while locking the Joker up. And that's where the universe began when Batman met Joker. It's almost like a love story if you ask me. Next up is Batman the Blackgate game that came out on Vita first and eventually came out to all the other consoles. I'm Benny for Eligible Monster and I'll see you guys next time right here.